Hello everyone and welcome back to the Yellow Dog 3D Tips blog. Today I'm going to be explaining what an Alembic cache is. So an Alembic cache is basically a universal cache file that will work with any 3D program and it can work with things such as dynamics or rigged characters. So here I've got a scene in Maya, it's just a sphere and a plane um, and we're going to make a simple cloth setup. So I'm just going to make the sphere a collider and the plane a cloth object and you can see that's simulated out nicely and let's say we were completely happy with this and we weren't going to change it um, one of the problems is we can't scrub through the timeline uh, without it sort of breaking so let's imagine we were happy with this, we're not going to change it we can go to cache, alembic cache and export selection to alembic and click the little option box I'm just going to leave all the settings to default and click export selection and I'm just going to name it something meaningful like alembic cloth 01 and I'll click export selection and just let it go through the timeline and this is basically going to export a new file which contains all the information that happens at all the polygons of that object. So if I go to cache, alembic cache and import alembic and we locate that file, alembic cloth 01, you'll see that it's imported, it's super lightweight and it's behaving exactly the same as it did before, it's all the same animation and it is super super lightweight. So if we wanted to we could import many different um, iterations of this same file in and it has very little effect on the playback speed we're still going to get super responsive real-time playback um, so just to demonstrate I'll import a few different versions um, say we'll import four of them just to demonstrate that it barely affects the playback speed so there you go we've still got an interactive sort of playback speed it's not having to do the same calculations again for the cloth so as I mentioned earlier, um, these are universal files that work with any 3D program. So here is Cinema 4D. I'm just going to drag and drop that same Alembic cache out um, into here. And you can see it just plays back exactly as it did in Maya. And to demonstrate once again, I can just duplicate this as many times as I like. And it's going to have very little effect on the playback speed in the viewport. So it's really, really useful for things like cloth, as it ta usually takes up a lot of um, computational power to just play those back. But it's also useful for things like character animations. So here's just a preset sort of motion capture um, file I downloaded from Adobe. You can see it's a rigged character, um, but you can use an Olympic cache on this as well, which obviously has lots of applications, especially if you're collaborating with people that work in possibly a different 3D program to you. So just like we did before, we select our main mesh that we want to export, go to cache, um, alembic cache and export selection to alembic. But this time we're going to export our UV maps as well. So just in the advanced options, I'm going to tick the box that says UV write and write UV sets. And once we've done that, we can just export selection and uh, just give it a name. So guitar man, for example, and we'll just let it run through the timeline. So once that's exported, we'll find that um, we can actually, again, drag it into a different 3D program, so this is Cinema 4D. I can just drag that in, just with the basic default import options. So here we go, here's our animation. Again, we can duplicate it as many times as we want, and it's going to have little to no effect on the speed in which we can play it back. So we just exported our UV maps from Maya. Obviously this guy isn't textured, but if we wanted to apply the same texture map that was on him in Maya, we go to our BP UV edit um, sort of tab and we'll notice that the UV maps are already there, um, the same as what they were in Maya. Um, so we, if we did have a texture map, we could just apply this and it would work with no problems. So once again, this has been the Yellow Dog 3D Tips blog. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more 3D tips. Cheers.